Welcome back. The American Heart Association is having a walk on October 18th. And joining me to talk about it today is Teresa Stewart. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having us. And Teresa, you are the mother of Preston. We actually had him here, but he wants mommy. So we, he's, he's over there on the side. But um, let's, let's talk about Preston and how you're involved with the American Heart Association and also a little bit about the walk. Sure. Um, I was at the walk last year in Saratoga and um, ran into May and May asked if Preston would be their heart hero. Um, Preston was born um, March 21st, uh, 2013 with a congenital heart defect and he had surgery at five days old wow. and yeah. <laughs> So, um, you know, there's a lot to, there's a lot of things that, you know, I wanted to get out there and, you know, awareness and whatnot, so. People usually don't think that children are affected by that. Right? No, it's crazy. Actually, one in 100 children are born with a congenital heart defect every year. It actually kills more children than all childhood cancers combined, yeah. um, but it's five times underfunded. So it's really important to get the awareness out there and to let them know it how much we really need research, you know, to help the children out. And American Heart Association, um, they donate $2.3 million just to the capital region for research. So and how is Preston doing now? He's doing really good. We just had an appointment, um, a follow-up with Dr. Kamenier, who's his cardiologist in Albany. And um, he has what's called Schoen's complex. So he has a lot of different issues. He had a coarctation repair, which repaired part of um, his aorta when he was born but now that caused um, stenosis of his there's a mitral valve and he has bicuspid aortic valve not to get into yeah. you know <laughs> major details but you know um, and you were were you a volunteer were you associated with the uh, American Heart Association before that or it just happened it just happened um, Ellis I was there with Ellis Hospital actually uh, with my mother-in-law so we were walking uh, for her dad. And tell us about this walk that's coming up October 18th because if the viewers want to come, <laughs> you should definitely come and help out the American Heart Association definitely. and be a part of it. How can they do that? Um, they can go to, it's uh, Saratoga Glens Falls um, heartwalk.org and they can sign up um, and register. Um, they can register a team or be an individual, whatever they want to do. Um, or they can just show up. There's, um, there's a uh, kids zone there. They have health screenings. They have um, there's like a breakfast. Um, uh, Skidmore students will be there giving out um, health information. Uh, I think for the food, mm -hmm. and um, it's a one three mile walk, and they can do either. So <laughs> they don't want to do three miles, and um, there's subway lunch afterwards, and it's a lot of fun. It's great to come out and see. Um, we do you know a red cap white white cap and red cape wave um, to honor the people that are, are struggling with heart disease and stroke, which are the number one and number four killer of all Americans. So, so, so how did Preston get chosen to be the hero? Um, like anyone? I don't know. He just, he was just there and he had his cape on, you know, because the, the kids wear the red capes. So, and you know, he's just, he's always smiling and running around. So he's good spokes kid <laughs> <laughs> well Teresa thank you so much yeah thank you and don't forget October 18th Saratoga race course registration 939 in the morning and the walk starts at 1045 so go to the website register it's a great cause and uh, they need your support so thank you thank you Teresa yeah, thank you and to see this interview again head to our website looktvonline.com